as we change um, and, and expand our awareness to the state of the world, then, the, then our actions change as well. But that's not the whole story. And I think maybe um, the evolution that wants to happen in the, in the work of the Pachamama Alliance, you know, in the developed world, uh, is, well, how does this change happen, this, this inner change? Does it happen merely by watching some videos and having some conversations in a room? Maybe it happens through our interaction with the outside world um, and trying to make changes. And when we do that, like our limitations, our weaknesses, our strengths come out. Self-knowledge develops in a way that it can never develop in kind of this uh, contained setting of a seminar. So I think at some point, the person who wants to develop spiritually has to engage in that part of oneself that we call the world, you know, that, that makes visible that which is hidden in ourselves. So, I, and many people are realizing this uh, convergence of spirituality and activism. So I, th I think using uh, kind of self-rejection, self-condemnation, and conditional self-approval to goad oneself into action is actually counterproductive. The result, you know, oh, I'm so terrible, you know, I'm part of the problem, but if I do this, then I'll be a good person. Unlike that person over there who isn't doing this, so I'll be better than them, so I get to like myself and, and I'll sit in judgment of them, condemning them or patronizingly tolerating them. Like, that doesn't motivate very deep change. That motivates just enough change to let yourself off the hook. Just enough change to tell yourself that you're being a good person. But we need really deep commitment that goes way, way beyond that.